Well, hello again. I'm Pastor John Cress here at First Baptist of Horton, Kansas, and I am glad to see you today. If you're new to us, we gather on a weekly basis to go through God's Word, looking at a chapter at a time and highlighting certain verses to see what God has to say for us. Presently, we've been going through the book of Exodus, which is the second book in the Bible, and tells about how Israel, under the leadership of Moses, and more importantly, by God, the people of Israel came out of Egypt as slaves and began this new relationship of knowing their God. We are presently in chapter 29, and we're going to be looking at verse 9 specifically. Join me, if you will. You shall gird them with sashes, Aaron and his sons, and bind caps on them, and they shall have their priesthood by a perpetual statute. So you shall ordain Aaron and his sons. We are seeing the beginning of the priesthood. But what is a priest? And how is that compared to the other man of God that we hear later, the prophet? These are two representatives. This is the best way for me to explain it. It's like when two companies are coming together maybe to do a merger. Now, not all of this, the board of directors from both companies can come together. So they send a representative to talk things out. One representing company A and the other representing company B. And they sit work things out, then take it back to their respective companies. We're trying to have a merger here with God. People who have rejected God. We have been hostile to God. We have been his enemies because we want to be our own God. And yet God says, I love you and I want to have a relationship with you. But we still have this issue of sin that has to be dealt with. It is preventing us from merging together and being one with one another. So God sends both the priest and the prophet to help. The, the pro prophet is his representative. The prophet is one who goes out and speaks what God says the people need to hear. About what they're doing wrong and who their God is. The priest, on the other hand... It's God's choice to be the representative for the people. The priest goes and helps lay the foundation of what the people need to do. To teach them. To help lay out the sacrifices. To atone for their sins. And to basically help the people say, we're wrong. We're sorry. Please forgive us. We have these two voices coming. And God is helping the people of Israel at this point in time, saying, these are the individuals who will be your spokesmen, Aaron and his sons. They will help the people of Israel to know what they need to do and how to come before God with sacrifices. But what about us today? Do we need to bring sacrifices? Do we need to go see a priest? No. Why? Because we have the perfect sacrifice and the perfect priest and the perfect prophet rolled all into one. His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came as that perfect prophet and stated all that the world needed to know to be convicted of their sin. He came as that perfect lamb, the sacrifice, who is without sin to pay for our sacrifices. He was the perfect priest and that he was a representative of the people. He was human in nature and yet holy to represent the people before God. He fit all three roles. 
Therefore, we no longer need to bring a lamb because the lamb's already there. We don't need to go search out a priest because our priest is Jesus Christ. And we need to listen to our prophet Jesus. And learn from them. And go to them on a regular basis. But at the same time, realize that that priesthood does not stop there. Jesus will always be the ultimate high priest. The one who can, only he can make the atonement of sins. But we as a church, as believers in Christ, are called a priesthood, a holy priesthood unto the world. We are to help bring the gospel, to teach the world about a holy God and their need for salvation, their need to find that perfect Lamb, Jesus Christ, who will atone their sins. While we may not, as a church, may not need to go to a regular priest, we still need to help show the world that we all need our true high priest, Jesus Christ. Let us always be grateful for that. Let us seek our high priest, Jesus. Thank him for the three roles which no one else could fulfill, but he alone. And he is the one who can mediate everything between us and God. Let's pray. Lord, I just want to thank you for this time that we could just spend talking about the roles of the prophet, the priest, and even the sacrifice, dear Lord. We have sinned greatly many times over each and every day. And I'm grateful that while Aaron was a great example, and he and his descendants, that I don't have to search out a priest or bring the, a perfect lamb every time I sin to be, because I would never leave your holy altar because my mind is a sinful thing. Help us, dear Lord, to come before you, the perfect lamb of God. Ask you as our priest to atone us. And then listen to the words that your prophet Jesus speaks to us. And then help us to not only receive this blessing of the priesthood in you, but be a priest for others. We don't have to be ordained, but we have been called to be priests, which is far greater. We've been called by you to help this world see the need to find their God and know how much he loves them. And all this we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you next time.